we come before you this good afternoon. We thank you for everything that you've done for us. We, you have gathered us here for a reason. And we pray that, Lord, you will accomplish your purposes here. Even as we sit and listen, my God, we pray that each and every person that has come here will live with something, my Father. Thank you for uh, this time, my Lord, that you will begin with us and you will end with us. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Asante sana. Kwanza, tujijulishe sisi ni akina nani. Sisi tunakuja kutoka kwa kampuni na julikana kama FP Market. Kazi ya hii kampuni ni kukusaidia kupata channel ya kuweza kuuza na kununua pesa. Kutoka nchi tofauti tofauti. Kuna vile dola, kuna euro, kuna pound, aina zote za currencies. Ili uweze kupata kitu tunaitanga profit kutokana na margin ya ulinunulia ama uliuzia wapi ikafika mpaka wapi haya kwa majina ya mimi naitwa James na nimekuja na mwenzangu Boneface na pia tuna wasaidizi wengine hapa ambao wamekuwa ni wamoja wetu of a good Rea Vipingo Yegon Kenjen eh eh Feel free to join us. <laughs> so all these companies, could I'm doing a mention about uh, Kenjen. Kenjen, Safaricom, uh, and writing to Liacha Shule. And uh, once to repeat, I'm too to Liacha and writing Shule. Safari, oh, eh, Nivo, Safaricom. And another, Unona Sai, Nilianza Kusema, come on as a to me, your smartphone, Kutuma V chat. Eh, Watoto Wako Wakonga, and they are grannies at home through that video chat. In Amanisha, you're using technology. Right now, if you're looking even to advance in your business, you have to embrace technology. Apo hauna choice. Technology, you skuma, you to skuma ahead in one sense. Like myself, I buy a lot of stuff on Jumia. Why do I do that? In most cases, najipataga maybe na save like a thousand or two thousand. Why? Ju, hakuna storage costs. On whoever is selling that item. So if you're looking maybe to invest in this 21st century, you have to think of technology. And that is why anyone who is thinking of Safaricom as a stock in Kenya and as cause a max. Why? So I, anyone who is doing even doing banking or any payments, atakwa matatu, tunafuliza your 30 bobby affair. Sindio? Meaning, technology is in play. So, kwanini tusifikirie how to utilize our internet, easy bundles to buy every day. But from WhatsApp, na kuvyu status za watu wengine, why don't we utilize that internet bundles to buy every other morning to learn about something else that we can do? Apart from the physical, markets that we already know. And here comes the financial markets. Kama kuna market imekuwa affected sana na technology ni the financial markets. Uh, before I learned how to uh, maybe to play around with the financial markets, I was uh, in equity bank, I was serving in the gatehouse branch I joined that branch in 2011 and a customer, a client of the bank, was about forex trading. And that's how I got to learn about, about it. And in 2016 July, 
I resigned from the bank for this. But it has been a journey, a long one, and a tough one at the same time, but worth every step that I took to learn about this stuff. Anyone mwenye ati anaweza skiza news ama ingie YouTube atafute a certain song na skize anaweza trade in this market. But ile kitu muhimu ni kujua uh, even the physical businesses nani ashaianza business hapa na ikaanguka na akachana nayo na akazahau. Ukaweka kukuza mayai zikapatikana. Ukaweka sijui nini ikapatikana. We have all done that. So, even this is a business like any other. And ukeza ulizo kwa nilu liyeka kuku, and you lost in that business. You can tell somebody else who is joining the same same business, even if you are not in it. At kama if I had that 100,000 or 50,000, and I was to go back to the eggs business, or the layers business, I could do it in this certain way. So the same case happens in this market. In Abadilika every day. Nimiki join equity in 2011, checks zil three days to clear. Then they moved to one day, to two days. Nikitoka niliziacha two days. I don't know kama zime abadilisha to date. T plus one. Uki deposit pesa leo, the next day, by June you shall you if that check was unpaid, ama you may bounce. So that, that day, you collect your money. The same thing uh, when I was joining the bank, Hakuko na historia, mobile banking, it was not so huge. It started around maybe 2013, 2014. Right now, the last time Alienda Kupanga Laini kwa banking hall, I just saw a report today, Equity Bank, they are saying that over 90% of their transactions zinafanyika outside the banking hall. Zinafanyika wapi? Kwa agent? Kwa simu. Uko na pesa yangu nimekuzia kitu melilipa na simu. Na yeka na pay bill kwa bank. Mwenye na yeka alikona nidai, alisha present check yake. Ina debit kwa bank. Ama na debit my bank account na mulipa. Wherever I am. I don't need to go to the bank. What does that mean to us and to our younger brothers and sisters when you want to go Form 4 or in college? It means their chances of being employed in a banking institution zinaenda zikipungua. Because kama James Mwangi, 99% of his transactions zinafanyika outside the gatehouse branch. Ata nipea job, nikafanya ni. So, this it's not just for us. It's also for those who are coming after us. Maybe tunaiza sikia, ah, mi history shani pita. So, mi miyapo si yuko. But when you wako nyuma yetu and our kids, unless maybe something happens, a shift, and we get to see that... Uh, that most of our people when you are in high school, college, or the universities, they are getting employed. Until that one happens, we still need to, to improve ourselves from the word go. So when you learn a game and you introduce it to somebody else, either your younger uh, brother, your younger sister, or your kids, even. Not a kama maybe who to learn the art about trading the, in the financial markets. If you have that idea, I remember in 2006, 2007, between 2007 and 2008, that's when I met that guy at, in, at the back there, and he mentioned something to do with trading forex. But at a yeye, aliko meskia from somebody else. So, it didn't even trigger at a ile interest kidogo. But if you are sitting in this room today, at a kama you won't pursue it, make sure that 
wenda tu google ingia tu even uh, on youtube and try to get an idea what is this forex trading all about it may not be for you but it might be for somebody else the same guy was mentioning about forex trading in 2007 to me alikuja kuingia into forex trading juu yangu much later around 2014 so we are not doing this for ourselves na nimesema even if you won't do the forex trading bit of things try to understand what happens in the financial markets and the financial markets is wide you open door to corner shares Uh, one of the vocal guys in the current government u jamaa wa moranga anaitwa didenyoro just the other day kulikuwa na hizo headlines that he is the biggest individual shareholder wa Kenya Power u jamaa kuna miaka ngapi akienda sana ni early 40s right early 40s he is the major shareholder of the biggest Kenya Power inauza a mon- it's a monopoly na inauza a necessity whatever you are using here the denyoro anaenda tu akihesabu every unit you buy ukiona tu token yako imeanza kulia kwa nyumba unajua the denyoro is being paid where are we so hata tukiwa f- fun with the current government we have to see what are they doing na ile kitu wanafanya in affect our financial markets in what way one of the things that greatly affects the financial markets is the political stability of that country because as we say that uh, when you are talking about forex trading we are talking about a currency currency ni pesa kwa hiyo market tuna trade pesa unachukua dollar unai compare na euro unachukua South African rand unaikopea na the US dollar so you need to know ni nini ina drive the South African rand against the US dollar uh, okay e meeting ni somehow imbalanced uh, men are many than women but all these men can agree in one thing before when you were settled only way the partners you had until you settled on one kuna vitu uliangalia from the physical and not physical the same thing happens to the currencies we look at an economy to jua economy inakaje economy ni yakina nani wana iran ili tujue are we investing in currency A or are we investing in currency B so for us to get an exchange rate and kuna kitu ni mention once you go to the bank kuna kitu kana kaaga hivi I know in one way or another we are all in business. Hata wenye wako employed hapa tuko in business. Ukienda kubai kitu unaambia kwa dola imepanda. Imepanda kutoka wapi? Na imepandishwa na nini? Hizo ndizo zile vitu tunatajaribu kujua so that you know are you supposed to convert your Kenya shillings money into the US dollar? Ju Ukienda bank saa hii utapata ka kitu kameandikwa hivi buy We have a buy column and a sell column Alafu hapa ameandika maybe USD ameandika euro and uh, maybe the pound GBP these two first two letters they represent the country when your currency inatoka so kama ni 
GBP, it means the Great Britain Pound. Come on, Euro, the European Rubble. And if uh, it's the US dollar, the Canadian CA, Canadian dollar, Australian. Squeezy kuna watu wengi unasikia wanaenda kusoma Australia. Hata wala zimu wafanya forex kwanza. Ju, unalipa school fees in Australian dollar. So what do you do? You have to sell your Kenya shillings and buy the Australian dollar. Unenda pale equity yama cooperative unasema, nataka kutuma school fees Australia. Iyo ni forex transaction. Bank, lazima ikuzie the Australian dollars. To the other side, they need to receive the school fees in the Australian dollar. So I, uh, most of, even is if it were to me up, I bet, Zilitoka China. So we have to buy this stuff, but we are using our Kenya shillings. So the first thing we have to convert our Kenya shillings, maybe to US dollar or to the Chinese yuan for us to buy uh, whatever we are using right now. So the first two letters, they represent the country. So ukingia pali vo KCB, equity, cooperative, utendo upate, wameandika buy and sell and the currencies, maybe for the US dollar, I'm not sure uh, how much the banks are buying at. Let's say it's uh, 126. And then they sell to you at 130. They buy the euro, kwako, maybe at 111. Sa euro imeshuka sana. And they sell to you, if you want to buy the euro from them, they will sell to you at maybe uh, 118. The pound, I'm not certain against the Kenya shillings to Kolevogani. But maybe you take it at around maybe 130, they sell to you at 138. So, so I need to a hundred dollar bill when the equity what I could a rate. But this is just an example. But mtu wengine akingia kwa bank na Kenya shillings. Asema a hundred dollars at a uzi wa nai 130. So, bank is a make profit. Sindio? Juwa lijukua hundred dollar biliangu ato 126. Wakapea ule madam, atatuambia na ito wa nani later, at 130. Washa make four shillings. So, iyo ni forex. And uh, when I was in equity, the treasury department, you do you find your treasury, those forex transactions for the bank. Mutu anatuma pesa inje, na ile pesa ya inje inaingia uku. They are the guys who deal with that. And the department, you gonna like, like eight guys. But they were making so much money, much more as compared to all these branches combined. One department, you gonna like eight guys. But they are making a lot of money. Two to four, Bobu naona apa, they are better than ile loan. Zakaria taenda bebe ya one million, I live for five years. Ya nakuja leo, unataka dollar, leta kenya shillings. So, muna maliza naga hapo hapo, he banks his four shillings. Unataka euro, leta kenya shillings, he makes seven shillings. Muna maliza na hapo hapo, you are exchanging one currency to the other. So, that basically what we do and what we offer. So at FP Markets, we give you now the platform to do that. If you were to do the over-the-counter Forex in Kenya today, unaza tu badilisha your Kenya shillings to the US dollar, to the euro, and to the pound. Ata Uganda shillings, Kenya, hakuna bank inaza kupea Uganda shillings. Tanzania shillings hakuna bank ineza kupea ati note ya 100 ke Tanzania shillings. So yes, it happened. So you only have to do that now through these platforms. Mbele ni tuliongea about the stock market. If you want to buy shares in Kenya, you have to walk into either like equity, cooperative. Most of the banks work on the share dealing desks either 
they are collaborating with a stock broker ama they are also a stock broker like uh, cooperative bank they have one they call kingdom securities when you are going to share safaricom chances are ulizi buy na discount securities and walikuwa nashika hiyo time time ya ipo ya safaricom At the same time na kenjen if you bought ipo ya kenjen uh, you also maybe bought with ngenya karaoke zenye zilikuwa hapo mbeleni but say most of the guys they are doing with uh, day and blair there are so many so many stock brokers in kenya so you cannot go to the nairobi stock na kutoka leo by the way i know very few of us watch business news ikifika hiyo time ya business news na switch to the next tv station anza ku learn ujua what is happening in our current financial markets in our local financial markets ju kama hatuelewi what is happening in our local financial markets there is no way to tell what is happening in the US true so we need to know Nairobi stock exchange leo ni shares gani zili move dollar ilikuwa na exchange na ngapi na na Kenya shillings euro the same and all that and even our neighbors i know most of us when they are dealing they in business we go for stuff in Uganda so you need to know leo kenya shillings in a change na ngapi against the uganda shillings the tanzania shillings those who are dealing with serious mnaendea serious in tanzania lazima ubadilishe your currency the kenyan currency to the tanzanian currency ununue hizo njugu ama whatever you're going for so it is starts na what surrounds us Jusa hii before you join in happen uh, Ukraine tunafaa kuwa tushaelewa nini na happen Kenya tusiseme tu ni Ukraine alileta shida yote and maybe whatever you are talking about ni maziwa na maziwa yetu hatuko export igi we only sell it locally we need to understand all that and especially all of us tusha miaka imesonga songa kidogo so tuna wenye wanatufuata tunaweza kosa kuelewa hii kitu we have our sisters in high school or college wana graduate waenda wapi if they can run the finance they can understand the financial markets then it becomes easy for them so fp markets offers that platform for you to trade in uh, so many so many instruments and one of them is the currencies ya tumepitia sana ukiwa kenya unaweza nunua hii whatsapp yenye tunapenda sana before the utume sms unakuwa umetuma like 50 or even 100 whatsapp messages whatsapp is a company is owned by a company called meta group or here facebook from us e company ya zuckerberg so ukitaka kutre instead of buying bundles to promote zuckerberg why don't you trade his stock unaweza trade facebook stocks ukiwa hapa kenya in this forex market iki tunasemaga ni kugugu ni kugugu that google it's called the bc if you want to trade google stocks you can only do it through these online platforms twitter has become so famous in kenya you can only do it through this platform is magari akina volkswagen and all that the shoes where adidas nike you can trade those companies through this platform so what basically fp markets does is give you a platform that you can access the market through your phone or through the internet and uh, basically there are many ways of trading forex and uh, i see holy grail apa dikazi na kuaga it takes a lot to trade in the forex market. Juleo if uh, for instance we want to exchange UGX maybe it's around maybe let's say it's 20 shillings from Kenya shillings to Uganda shillings you will exchange it at a rate of 20 Uganda shillings. Alafu ununue leo kesho vita itoke Uganda. What will happen to the Uganda shilling? nikushuka itashuka ama nikupanda nikushuka so kama ulikuwa na exchange at 
one shilling Kenya shillings will go in exchange for 20 Uganda shillings to have quick exchange in like 30 or 25. So, you need to know all these things. Ilujwe, ilio sisi kupoa ya kuenda Uganda kubai staff. Wacha ni goja skumbili tatu, and then I will go. So, isi lazima atita kusaidia in the online trading bit. No. It will help you understand how the global markets work. If today I'm to buy stuff from China, I will need to change my Kenya shillings into US dollar first, and then into the Chinese yuan. China, they are very clever. On Abalijaga, the rate ya currency yao every morning. At around 5 a.m. Kenyan time, on Abalija rate against the dollar. So you need to know trend ya China. For you, ujue, when is the best time kutumana mziko China? Ikuje. Kuna time, utaleta the same thing, Zakaria and uh, Peter. Utaleta the same item within the same month, but Peter aleta expensively just because he bought it on a Monday and him, he bought it on a Thursday. Juhuyu alijua maybe kulan the market and ajua nini na drive Chinese yuan against the USD ajua when to invest. Una get? So, currencies do not only affect us in the forex market. Ina affect ata cost ya zile nguo tunava. Na ina affect mafuta. I mafuta tunapataga wanaongezea ama wanapunguza every month inatoka tu kwa hii, hii market. So, kama unaweza elewa hii market, then it means you are able to know what to do and when to do it. True? Sijui kama hii maneno either mnashika ama mshiki. Jusura sioni zikibadilika. <laughs> so, kuko wana swali muulize. So, there are so many things that you can do in the forex market and uh, one of them is trade the currencies, the stocks. And kuna kitu naitaga, unaeza buy e currency lini. Tumepea na very good example. Sa hii Uganda kukaeza tokea vita. Uganda shilling itashuka. Kwa nini stock market yetu ilishuka towards the election? Andiyo mwana ni mwambia muanze kuangalia business news. Kwa nini stock market yetu ilishuka so much hapo tukikaribia elections? Nani yaweza kuwa na idea why? Juu ilishuka. Hata kama huko notice Safaricom ilitoka all the way from 41 shillings to 20 something. Aga shairi. Ulesi ya Safaricom ya shukireniki. before the elections. Tosa kinye teke zurano. Kuna kitu mwenye laeza taa tujue, bia shara yoyote, yu drive wana nini? Supply na demand. Sa hile tomatoes tunaziwa mbili 20 bob, inamanisha nini? Demand iko pale pale, lakini supply inapungua. Sindio? Either kumekauka kwenye tunalima or something else. True? So, demand and supply. Towards the election, due sentiment uh, towards the African uh, economies, you kuwa negative sana. Jitu mezoya kupigana around the, the elections times. So, no one wants to invest. Kila mtu wataka kaya na pesa yake chini ya matres. That is why even the stock market in Chicago around that time. So, as we learn this, you don't even need either to be trading, but unako ukijua, like uh, a very good example is the season that we are headed into. Sai, Europe tunaingia winter, US the same, uh, US later, but Europe, UK tunaenda winter. Our watu walikosana na Russia. Wanabaigi gas from them. 
Unajua sisi atuele yagi maneno ya snow, tunasomaga tu online. But during the winter season, saa hii ule mtu wanauza kuni UK is doing far much better than ule mtu wanauza magari. Juzi, kuni zinahitajika. Ju we use the gas from Russia to heat our houses in the UK. But your gas haiko saa hii. So what do you do? Unatumia maka. That is why ule msi anauza kuni saa hii ni UK. Ata mekdo sana kuliku ule msi anauza magari during the winter season. So, this stuff yu kufungua sana, sana, sana. That's why nasema, even if you won't do it for us, let's do it for wenye wako nyuma yetu. Our kids, sijui ni nini sana sana wakuja kupata, especially wenye wako kama high school. Maybe wenye wako primu watapata mamu yu wabadilika kidogo. But those ones in high school, colleges and universities, na wenye washa graduate. I know a friend of ours here. Maybe wacha nisiseme. But some of us hapa washa wamefanya degree ya kwanza, wakafanya ya pili, na wakafanya ya tatu. But the economy yenye tuko haiwa embrace. Wanna get? And maybe mtu mungina naeza uliza how many hours do I need to be trading this thing? Maybe na hitaji just two hours. Una muka five in the morning ama four. By seven, usha elewa nini li happen na usiriria nini li fa happen China. Alafu goje kama ima saa ndio New York, US wamefungua. So, usha ajua nini pia ime happen your time. So, maybe in a day, you need at most four hours. Maybe you can dedicate two hours before we ingie job yako ya kawaida. Like when I was working in Equity Bank, I used to wake up around four, four thirty. Equity, Unaingia ka job saa moja. So, by six, unafagu isha funga shuguli yako, ujitayarisha ili by seven, ukumisha ingia branch. During the day, all of us I know here, most of us, washa ikuwa na account equity. Uyo mwenye anakuzawa equity, haizi kuwa na time ya kufanya shuguli ingina during the day. So, saa hii jioni, ndiyo, after five, six, hiyo ndiyo ananza kuangalia, angalia simu, Oh no, what happened? Ajiwe kama ata ekelea USD, ama ata ekelea Japanese yen, ama tabidi ya muke saa sita usiku, a trade yo masa. Uzuri wa hii market, it runs 24 hours. And no market in the world runs 24 hours. But, juu ya time zones, tunapajipata, like the earliest markets, they open in Asia. Hapa ndio tukona Australia, Tukona Japan, tukona China, New Zealand, all these markets. Zina fungua mapema. Then, by the time e market inenda kufunga, Europe wanafungua. Europe wanafungua around 10 a.m. Kenyan time. Sata tunanusu to 10 a.m. Sasa ni akina France, Germany, Spain, all those markets. Then, an hour later, UK now wanaingia kwa game. So, all of us kuma like four or five hours, and US opens. So, what wenye wanapenda USD, wanaingia kutoka maybe around three or four p.m. Kenyan time. So, unanayi market ulifungua, around one a.m., Ikenda kiedre saa mbili, saa tatu. So, Australia ndo inafungua ya kwanza, tunafuatiliwa na Tokyo in Japan. Then, hizo zingine akina Beijing, Taiwan, Hong Kong, zinafuatana hapa. Hizi market zote, zo uanza kufunga from 7 to around 9 a.m. to 10. So, Asia market inafunga by 10. By the time wanafunga, another market opens. So, hakuna gap. E by the time we run one hour, UK opens. E by the time we are going for four, like four hours, US opens. And the last maybe three hours, zina run pamoja. Kama ima sa sa sa, tuna run these three markets pamoja. By seven, apo, seven jioni, these two closes, tuna achwa na US peke yake, 
inaenda New York Stock Exchange yufunga 11 pm but cash markets zo ufunga at midnight tukifunga tu hivi hii ingine inafungua that's why tunasema it's a 24.5. So the first market tafungua Sunday at around saa sita usiku ama saa, saa saba. Na kama ya leo, leo ni Friday. Tukifika hapa saa sita, market yote ifunge. So weekend, traders wanakuwa meboeka sana. Hakuna kitu ya kufanya. So in market na kupea diversity either ujue wewe utaamka saa sita uziku saa nane, ama saa ndo uko kazi kuna watu wengine wanalalaga the like the entire day juu maybe usiku walikuwa shughuli zingine ama anamka hiyo 11 anaanza kufanya hiyo shughuli so currencies unajua ni nini na affect a certain currency kama sasa hii nimesema euro ina affectiwa na wako winter gas yao inatoka russia russia hawauzi gas so Europe itakuwa na hard time e time ya winter. So Euro itaendelea kushuka e time. So you learn what is affecting the market ili ujue when to get into the market. So sa ile currency inafinywa sa hiyo unajiangalia. Ama unanunua the counter currency ya iko strong kama USD at that time. Ama unanunua kitu kama gold or you even buy that gas. Your gas, your type. There is no one market that you know of. Yenye high trade kwa hii market. Uneza trade ata ngurue. Nyama ya ngurue ina trade wa kwa hii market. Nyama ya ngurue is mostly eaten in China. In this market we call it the hogs. Hogs, you buy kwa sana from Canada and parts of US. Inatumika sana in China. So ukisikia China... Saini time ya holiday, unajua sayo wanakula nyama mob. So hogs prices, demand in a rise. So price yake inapanda. Wheat the same. Uh, mafuta the same. Gold the same. All those stuff. And uh, trading e forex, kuna vitu mbili. Uneza jitredia, ama uneza tafuta somebody like Simon, who has been in the market for long, ufungu ya account yako, but you copy them. So whatever is happening in the account, ya kichukua trade ya euro, juna muamini, we shall study his performance in the past, and you are able now to copy venyana trade. But at the same time, ufai kulala, ati ujue ni memtrust, wezi trust trader. Ju, zile vitu zina happen kwa hii market, they are normally outside our control. So you are just, you must study when Simon and I behave around the markets, and Sayili are stressed and I behave here, so that you know how to protect your capital. The, the main thing in this market is protecting your capital. Ata kwa biashara. Kuna time when you want to deal na second hand clothes, they will do this. Wanna to a first camera, second, third. Iko na beyake, iko na beyake, iko na beyake. Kwa nini ya siuza hizi vitu zote kwa bei moja? Ia anafanya risk management. Anajua hii ni grade 1, uh, hii nita uza 170. Grade 2, 150. Anafanya risk management. Antaka mzigo yake yote yende, hii nita umpea pesa the same. But asha fanya esabu. Ni wapi nita urudishia pesa yangu, ni wapi sitakuwa ni mechoma. So the same thing happens kwa hii market. Lazima ujue, when do you need to protect your capital and how do you do that? So even when you choose maybe to copy another trader, lazima ukue sharp pia. Ujue, umse na ezatu mkopi mpaka hapa. So that's one way of, of trading markets. The other way, and I would encourage anyone, naona hapa kuna youngsters wengi, learn how to do it. Uh, learn how to do it. Come uh, right now, we, at the moment, we are offering uh, free lessons. Those happen kila Monday to Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30 usiku online. So in two months, I presume if you're putting in the work, in two months, you let free. Where when you learn on your own, 
maybe in another like two months unaweza invest in the markets on your own so you need to uh, learning on your own would be the best thing you to mesema we are not doing it for ourselves only we are also doing it for others and uh, having said that that is what we call either copy trading or social trading or trading on your own self trading but kama una copy Simon definitely atakuchaji yeye ndio ali wake up saa 5 usiku ama saa 7 usiku so lazima atakuchaji kuna kitu inaitwa performance fee muta have to agree ama yeye atakuwa share set the standard so uh, funding trading accounts ama kufungua trading account unahitaji tu just your id a passport and kutuma pesa to the trading account either mpesa ama card or even cryptocurrencies sikizi watu wengi wameingia into bitcoin and stuff so you can use that to fund your trading account and uh, why do you want to choose fp markets one of the things that we are not the only forex broker in the world there are so many but when you're choosing a forex broker you need to get a broker ukimtaka unaweza mget You can imagine uko na food wangu ukimpelekea nguo yako to repair hata hujua yeye anafungua saa ngapi anafunga saa ngapi unakuja kesho saa tano hayuko hiyo siku nyingine ukikuja asubuhi saa moja unaambua ah alifunga jana lakini alilala huko akifanya kazi nyingine so leo haizi ingia you need a broker that is accessible uh, customer service it's available and stuff like that and at, at the same time cost cost ya kufanya biz when you buying shares kuna kitu tunaitaka brokers commission broker anakuchaji jote yako job amekupea platform ya ku access market anakuchaji ngapi if broker a is charging you 2 dollars and broker b is charging you 1.5 dollars utaenda na nani hata mart saa hii ukienda tu hapa stage upate mart moja inalipisha 40 bob the other one is 30 bob utaenda na 40 bob no So the same case happens with the uh, forex brokers that is cost of doing business we have very competitive rates and regulation license license kwa hii game humata sana wezi enda tu ku trade na broker yote kuna zile licenses ziko na uzito akimis behave tu kidogo and you report them they are punished but uh, we have some funny brokers sana sana from Russia and part of asia when yeah, they are not licensed ama easy islands zenye their tax save havens au hakuna mali unaweza wapeleka so broker ako regulated means your capital is also protected so basically that's it and i know if anyone of us is interested maybe to learn we have a lot of educational materials available ikitu haiwezi happen in one workshop at na wende uka trade monday haiwezi happen but the most important thing is awareness ujue these things iko na zina happen kati yetu and how do we get to learn just let us know if you're interested in learning we'll put you in our mentorship programs we'll share with you the educational materials and then utajamulia if it's something that you would want to do or not So Si maswali kuja tumalize shughuli. Huu unakaa uko na swali. <laughs> hey, Ailet. Okay the beauty of forex is that unaweza anza na any amount but personally I advise people to start $100 and above that's around maybe 12000 kenya shillings you'll have a chance to play around with it ju forex trading kuna kitu tunaita margin margin trading means you're given an extra bit of capital to work with so if you trade with $100 you'll get maybe an extra 
an extra amount the purchasing power of that $100 rises so it will a chance ya kucheza nayo you can even start with $10 i know a guy from bomet who deposited $10 he trades every other month he withdraws $25 but nayo risk yake iko juu juu making $25 from 10 you're making 25 100 shillings from 1000 shillings you must be very aggressive right and you must put a lot of work to that $10 so $100 gives you a chance to weigh even your skill and unaipea time yako grow so the beauty of forex ni flexible you can start with any amount you want but personally and from experience would encourage maybe someone to start at $100 and above And also something else that uh, will determine how much you can start with is how much you can afford and also how much you can afford to lose. Ju ukijua hii 100 dollars, i 12k niki lose nitaumia miezi tatu. No need. Start with the 30 dollars. True? Enye ukiumia sana maybe utaumia siku mbili. So start with also the amount that you are comfortable with. This market has a daily turnover of over 6 trillion dollars daily meaning your hundred dollars or a thousand dollars pale ivoni kidogo so you also have to weigh the options na pia your confidence level umelan unasiki uko poa if you okay then you can go all in but ukisikia bado hii maneno sijaelewa you need to start low kuja ukiji build when you unasikia confidence yako ya kuelewa markets then you could you your capital eh swali nyingine swali moja hapo na nyingine hapo tufunge a question or a reaction Okay. The things that one wants must understand before you get started. One thing you have to learn, you have to master yourself. Because this market it has the cap- capability of uh, it gives you a if uh, for instance i have uh, whatever amount i have invested and i make 5% per month 5% per month is maybe roughly 60% per annum a return of 60% per annum is okay but tena kama ni invest 100 dollars only to make 10 dollars a month na zaangalia nione haiko sawa So one thing I tell traders is look at trading in forex or investing in forex from the percentage return point of view. See amount. Ukiangalia amount utapotea. Ju amount itakuwa dictated na the amount we invested and all of us tuko affected na the amount that we can invest in. Maybe I can invest $100. The career can do $1000. So 10% yake itakuwa $100. 10% yangu itakuwa 10 dollars but we all do did 10% but na compare na yake naona hapana so we have to manage our expectations we have also uh, to learn e market iko na a lot of uh, moving parts at the same time we are trading the euro and we are also trading the usd we need to understand the dynamics of the two economies for us to invest uh, well And another thing is something we call risk management we need to understand how much can we risk at any given time sa ile tunafungua duka ya worth 
tunafaa ku dictate ibiz nikipoteza 10000 mimi na, nafunga nachukua my 40k and go do something else so the same case in this market unafaa ku define your risk level kwa hiyo 100 dollars how much am i willing to lose so there are so many factors that we need to understand and if you wish maybe to learn more about forex trading let me know we may not cover it all in this because as i said there are so many moving parts kwa hii market hii market ni huge sana so kuna vitu factors mob sana that are in play at the one given time so if you are into it let's put some time into it well or more but thank you for your question uh, sasa wewe uko hapa ama uko hapo si hapa katikati tupata zole <laughs> and then one here tufunge wacha ni kujie hii swali wamekaanisha nikitachukua time kidogo uh, gentlemen situfunge hiyo shughuli the highest leverage is one is to 500 ah. leverage whatever is asking about is uh, something i mentioned in regard to purchasing power if person unaweka 100 dollars the purchasing power of that it's like you given a borrowing capacity ukieda bank kuna kitu inaitwa overdraft overdraft ni kumaanisha ni fuliza tuseme hii 100 dollars umeweka kuna kafuliza sasa hii tunahesabiki fuliza as part of our money but safari kwa mikifunga fuliza leo it's no longer our money true so leverage inakupeaga hiyo ango or room to buy more that you could have done with your $100. So ours the maximum leverage we give you is to 500 times your capital. So if uh, you deposit $100 times 500. But you know manisha in increase your risk as well by 500. So you need to interpret it well. In case you're making money you're able to buy a bigger contract to that extent. So if you're making money you'll make much more. If you're losing money, you lose as much. Yeah. So I trust uh, Leo to Melan Kito and in case we are planning maybe to be having these meetings in Akuru maybe once a month. So when you want to endelea to learn, let us know. If you want to join uh, you want to learn more let us also know so that we know which program maybe to fix you in the mentorship there are so many reading materials that we have that we can send you videos pdfs and what have you or you can join that class that I run every monday to thursday jioni for an hour 7:30 to 8:30 pm usiku Mina ito boni naishi hapa nakuru lakini FP Markets office tuko nayo Nairobi so weekend na kuaga hapa ukinihitaji na personal level weekend unanipata weekday ndio inakuwa too tricky but weekend am normally in nakuru so i think i'll give the meeting back to James atufungie Uh, thank you very much Boniface for taking us through that phase. So uh, I hope everyone has had a chance to learn a thing or two and we are looking forward to having all of you on board to FP markets 
And uh, from FP Markets to you people, we say thank you very much for heeding to our call. Uh, we also welcome you for a cup of tea and uh, maybe a snack or two. Sante Nisana, uh, whoever opened the meeting for us with a word of prayer, Tufungi uh, and Amaombi Bado. So once again, uh, tulianza kwa maombi na tumeshukuru kwa the entire process. Thank you the organizers for everything that you have done for us. Na najua tumetoka hapa tukiwa na more information. So let us pray as we thank God for this meeting. Heavenly Father, once again, we came before you earlier to thank you and to ask for for your guidance through this meeting. And Lord, you have given us a good meeting and we have come to the end. We are so grateful that uh, through this time, my Lord, you have taught us and you have added information in our lives. And we pray that whatever that we have learned here, we are going to use it and utilize it for our own good and benefit. We thank you even as others are going to be leaving, we are going to disperse from this meeting. We pray that, Lord, you are going to be with us wherever we are going to go. Our needs, you shall meet them, Father. That you shall also teach us about you. That we may learn from you also. Father, even the cup of tea, we ask that you bless it and that you sanctify it, O God. We give you glory and honor. And it is in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ that we pray and believe. So now uh, I think our meeting is adjourned. And then wale watu wajaweza kujaza our registration form pale. Tafadhali pitia andika jina yako and a few more details. And we'll be uh, good to go. Asante ni sana.